Hello there, this is from around the world. Today's tutorial will be the basic steps to control a self motor using a microcontroller. So, let's remember that we do have a social web in garagelab.com where you can change ideas and follow news with another electronic holics. And we have a web store where you will find all the products that we are using in our tutorials. It will be good if you visit us in our audio channel as well. So, what's the difference between these motor types? DC motor convert electrical energy, voltage or power source to mechanical energy, producing rotational mo motion. They run in direct current. Stepper motor or stepper motors is a brushless synchronous motor which divides a full rotation into a number of steps. A stepper motor rotates in discrete step angles such as 30, 15, 5 to 1.8. A servo motor is a rotary actuator that allows for precise control of angular position. It consists of a motor coupled to a sensor for position feedback through to a reduction gearbox. This is special about those. They know exactly the position the arm is at and will constantly correct itself and to reach that position. Servo motors normally don't do full circle. Keeping only about 180 degrees, but with an excellent position accuracy. Servo motor has three terminals being coded. In this model, the direct power supply of 5 volts that will be connected to the 5 volts pin on the lower bar are the wheel. Brown, the ground, will be connected to DMD on the same bar. And the yellow, which is the signal of communication between the Arduino and the servo to the set the position, this terminal will be connected to pin 5. Be sure you will check our social network where you can find more information. Ok, let's have a great as this sketch. Get on to code. First thing to do is import the servo library. The second is the servo object creation. We go now to setup section and we have to attach the pin so it will be in pin 3. The loop will be to tell the motor to position itself at 45 degrees. After that, wait a second and the engine will be positioned at 145 degrees. Wait another second and start it all over again. As you can see, this is a quick simulation. And we have done a second sketch, where the first lines will be the same thing as the first sketch. So to the looping we do have a variable y which will be used for function to give the servo stepwise movement and the next function will be to make the same movement into the opposite direction as you can see again to new simulation well this is the knowledge you can put in practice in many ideas how to move small related robots Robot arms, robot clouds, camera, and whatever the imagination allows. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Don't hesitate in leaving comments in our social web. See you next time.